do not want, need or find average men attractive. From his video posts, it's clear Plymouth yeah. gunman Jake Davison was deeply resentful of his lack of success with the opposite sex. In this day and age, women have nothing but options. Nothing At the very but. least, his videos show sympathy what and understanding for those involved in the so-called incel movement of involuntary celibate men who are deeply hostile towards those, particularly women, who are sexually active. The incel movement first rose to international prominence in 2014. I've been forced to endure an existence of loneliness, rejection and unfulfilled desires. In Canada in 2018, Alec Manassian, who boasted of being an incel, used a van to knock down and kill 10 people in Toronto. They are uh, coming together in forums um, and promote really deeply dehumanizing rhetoric towards women, um, a sense of their own entitlement, a sense of injustice. In the UK, recent separate investigations prevented these two men, linked to the incel movement, from carrying out violent action. Anwar Druick and Oliver Bell had both spoken of their humiliation and frustration with the opposite sex and had attempted to make explosives. If Plymouth killer Jake Davison was in any way motivated by the incel movement, it will be of huge concern to authorities as they try to track this growing subculture of young men whose sexual loneliness and rage is increasingly manifesting in violence. Mark White, Sky News. On a balmy summer's evening, a motorist dashboard camera caught a chilling moment in an unfolding horror. A figure crouches over a shot victim, a woman who later died in hospital. Down the road, no one else seemed aware of what was happening. Two weeks earlier, on his own YouTube channel, gunman Jake Davison was clearly a troubled young man. I just don't have any willpower to do anything anymore, you know? I know a lot of people say, oh, that's weak-minded, that's pathetic, but, dude, it's, it's like how many years I've been working out, how many years I've been wanting and dealing with all these frustrations. Davison's neighbours soon learned how he'd dealt with his frustrations. In a 12-minute rampage, crane operator Jake Davison shot dead two men, two women and a three-year-old girl. He injured another man and woman. The bodybuilder shot himself dead as armed police arrived. It began when he kicked open a door and shot dead his mother, Maxine. Davison had a licence to own a gun, but why was he allowed to? Right now, he was still a licence holder last night. On social media, Jake Davison talked about guns and watched videos about guns. Witnesses said he killed his victims with a pump-action shotgun. Police were speaking to witnesses to the shootings and urged others to contact them. Martin Brunt, Sky News, Plymouth.